If you are having issues with blue screen crashing when you hit the performance button in Task Manager and you have an NVIDIA K1000M, then stay tuned because you will find the solution in this video. As you can see, if I have Task Manager open and I hit the performance tab, it instantly crashes. The problem is when Task Manager tries to read the performance of your NVIDIA graphics card, it crashes. You would think the solution to this would be to update to the newest drivers. However, the newest drivers of this NVIDIA graphics card is not compatible with Windows. So what we need to do is we need to install an older version of these drivers. The version of the graphics driver we need to install is version 392.68. To do this, we need to go to the advanced NVIDIA download page. I will post a link to this particular driver into the description. However, if you want to see the process, I will go through that. First, I will open up a web browser. And first, you will need to search advanced and NVIDIA driver, advanced NVIDIA driver, first one there. And then what we need to do is we need to go and select the Quattro. We need to select the Quattro for notebooks if you are on a laptop. If you have a desktop style computer, you'd wanna select the regular Quattro series, but I'm selecting the series for notebooks since this is a laptop. Then you need to select the actual thing. So we have the, I have the Quattro K1000M. Um, it says Windows 32-bit, but this is a 64-bit system. So I need to make sure I select 64-bit standard driver type and search for all. So that should work. So then what we need to do is, it's actually the first one here. And it might not be the first one when you search it because it might have changed in the future. But you need to choose three, nine, two, point six, eight. So you can click on that and you can download it. Once it is completed with the download process, you will need to open it up. You can open it up from inside your browser, or you can go and open up from your file and then go to downloads, and it should be at the top of your downloads list. You can agree to the package launcher. You can specify the folder if you want to, but the default destination is fine. It will check for system compatibility. You can agree to the license agreement. Make sure you carefully read every single word of this agreement. Every single word is very, very important. So make sure you read it all very, very carefully. Nah, just kidding, you don't have to. Then it will have different installation op options. Uh, I usually just choose Express, which is fine. Then it will install. This may take a while, but I'll cut through just so you don't have to wait through my process. It may flicker a little bit as it's installing. That's normal. Whenever it installs a graphics driver, there will usually be flick flickering, and that's only temporarily. So then it should be finished, should be all installed. So I will close it and I will now, just to be sure I'm gonna close Task Manager, make sure I restart it. And so if I go to Task Manager and I click Performance and it has not crashed. 
One thing, uh, one issue with this that I have noticed is that it seems like it doesn't actually monitor the GPU performance. It ends up just staying at zero, even if I play a video at 4K, but um, at least it works. And uh, you can view the other performance of your other, um, of your other functions such as CPU and memory. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, then uh, give it a thumbs down.